Audio Jungle. Hey everyone, welcome to my new video. Today I will show you how to install and configure FortiGate firewall on the Pnet Lab. First of all, you need to download the FortiGate image. You will find the link in description. After that, when you download it, you will find it like this. First of all, you need to create a new folder, okay? And give it, uh, give it to name this name exactly, okay? After that, uh, just you need to copy uh, this one like this. Uh, now already I'm opening the, the PNET lab, as you can see. I have this, uh, this address to access to, to the PNET lab. But uh, I wanna use uh, the, the FTP, okay? You can use the FileZilla or Winscap. For me, I will use this one, okay? After that, need to type the address of the peanut lab. As you can see here, the address is 192.168.174.132, okay? Uh, 192.168.174.132, okay? Username is uh, root, okay? And the password is peanut. Okay, so now I can access, so you will uh, see like this. After that, you need to click here. Go now to the, the OPT, okay. After that, you need to go in the N, N Eat Lab, okay. After that, you need to go to Add-ons, okay. And here you will access to Key EMU, okay. So now need to go to the uh, to the already the 40 gate file this one and copy this one to this one just drag and drop okay you will see like this now we need to fix the permission so now the fix permission is very easy in the peanut lab not not like the eve okay uh, so here as you can see you will find uh, like this we'll find like this you will need to configure or uh, create a new lab Okay, create new lab. Just, uh, but for me, I need to access directly. Okay, open. As you can see, but before, as you can see now, if you check the node, if you check the node, you will find the 40 net. But if you didn't, you need to fix permission first. You need to fix permission. Just close the lab and go to the system. Okay, go to the system and go to the settings uh, setting system and press to this one fix permission okay after the fix permission successful now need to back to the lab okay and open then open the network the node this one and click to the peanut uh, 40 nuts sorry and as you can see here you have uh, the the default configuration CPU 1 and uh, the RAM is uh, 1024 uh, the Ethernet we have four ports <coughs> then save okay after that need to uh, need to create the network and click to management cloud okay and then what you will do you need to link this one and open the start okay start the firewall now firewall start to uh, to run okay you uh, we will wait until finish the, st the start system okay now after system uh, starting now need to log in how can log in just uh, do the admin just write admin then press enter the password directly uh, press the enter okay here you will ask you about the new uh, password let's do a new password okay okay also need to do new password so now i can uh, already tell you welcome okay so now need to check the configuration by using show uh, system show system interface okay so as you can see in the port or port one port 2 port 3 port 4 as you can see by default in the 40 net there are four ports so in the port one uh, already in the in the default uh, configuration now need to edit this uh, this uh, configuration how can do it so let's do edit system config 
sorry, not edit, just config, config system interface, okay. After that, need to tell him edit the port one, okay, edit port one. After that, set uh, the mode, because uh, in the we have many mode. Uh, this is all configuration. There are many configuration here. So as you can see, if you do, uh, don't the mode, if you want to uh, do the IP bar from the DSCP or from point to point over Ethernet, okay, or uh, statically. So in this case, I will do the static, okay, because I don't have any any network or something like this, okay. Set mode static. After that, set IP. Okay, not IP. Set IP. Yes, set IP. I think there uh, there is IP. Okay, there is IP now. But here the IP, what you will do. So now in the IP, you you need to check what you need to check the this network. As you can see in your network, or let's access to my oh, minutes. Let's access to the the adapters. This adapter, the v, uh, VMNet 8, okay. Let's see the details. So the details, this one. 192.168.1741. This is gateway for me, okay. This is gateway for me. So in, in my lab here, I have already, if you're checking now, I have this address, 192.168.174. 132 slash 24 okay so let's uh, configure the 192 168 174 okay let's uh, give 135 okay slash 24 okay now we are finished let's do the end okay now need to check if uh, if my my IP already configured in the port uh, one or not how can do the comment by using get router info uh, information oh sorry info uh, routing table all okay as you can see here i have port 1 uh, connected okay connected in, in uh, the network 192.168.174.0/24 uh, uh, okay so now need to configure the routing, the default route to the gateway, okay? So what we do, so need to uh, need to the uh, config static or root static, router static, okay? Config router static. After that, need to edit, okay? After that, need to set uh, destination, okay? Set destination I think there is destination okay. already we forget uh, one command edit one okay edit one then set destination okay destination here to zero 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 the default slash zero okay for any network from any other uh, any mask okay after that set the gateway Okay, see the gateway. Our gateway is 192.168.174.1. Uh, one. Okay, then set device, set device port one. Okay, so now already we finished the, the configuration. So now, as you can see here, if you check, uh, if you check like before, get router, Info, okay. Routing table, all, okay. Already we have default route, okay, from via this gateway, okay, the port one. So now let's check here. Let's check first of all CMD. If I can ping to uh, the port one, already give it to uh, to give it to the address. 192.168.174.135 okay so the ping is successful okay so now let's browse to access in the uh, in the in the in the 40 gate 40 gate router 35 as you can see here i have now the 
the admin here okay and the password you already you change the password so as you can see now uh, so here uh, ask you to change password let's do uh, later okay as you can see here now I am where I am in the 40 gate uh, firewall so as you can see here you see the host name the serial number uh, the mod not blah blah okay uh, also you need to uh, for example uh, check the interface for example you have the interface already up okay the port one with with the IP address 135 as uh, we do before uh, the administrative access you can ping HTTPS SSR SSH HTTP FMG access okay so this is how to configure 40 gate or how can to install it and configure it. thank you so much for your watching